there is a story being told in the high north, a tale of immense cold gathering above our heads. Winter often means cozy fires and shorter days, but sometimes it brings something far more dramatic. This is the Arctic Blast, a sudden, biting chill that can transform life in hours. December 2025 is shaping up to be one of those winters. Forecasters are watching the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air over the North Pole, begin to weaken. When this happens, lobes of frigid air can spill south, unleashing a deep freeze across continents. Imagine the Arctic as a fortress. This year, its gates are creaking open. The cold is preparing for a grand sortie, and we're in its path. This story is about meteorology, history, and how we adapt to the planet's power. Despite our modern world, we're still subject to nature's ancient rhythms. Understanding these forces helps us prepare, not panic. This December, we reconnect with winter's raw power and our own resilience. What is the polar vortex? Think of it as a giant spinning top of icy air, high above the North Pole. In winter, it's strong and stable, keeping the cold locked away. Its winds act as a barrier, trapping the coldest air on Earth. But sometimes, this spinning top wobbles. Disruptions from below can weaken or split the vortex, breaking the fence that holds the cold in place. When that happens, Arctic air spills south, what we feel as an Arctic blast. It's not new cold, but ancient polar air on the move. The path and severity depend on where the weakened vortex wanders. This is why winters can swing from mild to extreme. For December 2025, forecasts suggest Europe is in the crosshairs. Understanding the vortex is key to understanding our wild winter weather. How do scientists predict these events? It's like solving a massive atmospheric puzzle. They use powerful computer models, fed by global data from satellites and weather stations. One major clue. Sudden Stratospheric Warming, SSW, a rapid temperature spike high above the pole. SSW disrupts the polar vortex, causing it to weaken and wobble. Current models show a high chance of SSW before December. Other factors, like Siberian snow cover and Arctic sea ice, also play a role. These subtle clues help forecasters build long-range predictions. Forecasting isn't exact, but when models agree, confidence grows. As of mid-November, the consensus is clear. Europe should brace for a significant cold spell. The pieces are falling into place for a memorable December freeze. When the polar vortex breaks, the cold doesn't spread evenly. It follows atmospheric pathways shaped by high and low pressure systems. For December 2025, a blocking high over the North Atlantic and Greenland is expected. This diverts mild Atlantic air and opens a direct channel for Arctic cold into Europe. The UK and Ireland, usually mild, could face dry, biting cold and snow from the east. Scandinavia will be at the epicentre with temperatures plunging to minus 30 or 40 Celsius. The Baltic Sea may freeze, disrupting shipping and coastal life. Central Europe, Germany, Poland, the Netherlands, northern France will see deep freezes and heavy snow. Even southern Europe could see rare snow and unusual chill. The entire continent will feel the Arctic's breath, a reminder of winter's true power. Preparation will be key for all. December is a month of movement, homecomings, holidays and festive trips. An Arctic blast can throw all these plans into chaos. Airports face delays and closures as snow and ice disrupt flights. Railways freeze, signals fail and snow blocks, lines, stranding travellers. 
driving becomes hazardous, with icy roads and black ice turning journeys treacherous. Even city strolls and Christmas markets lose their charm in biting cold. Ski resorts may get snow, but extreme cold and wind can close lifts. The holiday season's magic is at the mercy of the weather. Travel plans must be flexible and safety focused. Our homes are our castles, but even castles need defences in an Arctic blast. First, service your heating system. Failure in a freeze can be dangerous. Insulate your home. Check lost insulation. Seal windows and doors and use heavy curtains. Protect pipes from freezing with foam lagging, especially in unheated areas. On the coldest nights, keep heating on low or let a tap drip to prevent frozen pipes. Stock up on essentials, torches, batteries, blankets, warm clothes and non-perishable food. Power cuts can happen, so be ready. A few simple steps can turn your home into a resilient, cosy fortress. Preparation now means comfort and safety later. Don't wait for the cold to arrive. Act early. Resilience starts at home. Dressing for the cold is about survival, not style. The secret layering. Each layer traps air, keeping warmth in. Start with a moisture wicking base layer. Avoid cotton. Add insulating mid layers like fleece or wool. Top it off with a windproof, water resistant outer shell. Wind chill can steal heat fast, so a good coat is essential. Don't forget your extremities. Wear a warm hat, scarf, insulated gloves and thick socks in waterproof boots. Two thin socks are often warmer than one thick pair. Remove layers if you get too warm to avoid sweating. Dampness is the enemy of warmth. Layering lets you adapt to changing conditions. With the right gear, the cold becomes manageable. Be prepared and winter is just another adventure. This cold snap may feel new, but history tells a different story. The big freeze of 1962-63 gripped Europe for months, freezing seas and rivers. That winter, like this one, was triggered by a blocking high and easterly winds. The winter of 2009-10 saw a weakened polar vortex plunge Europe into chaos. Even further back, the Little Ice Age brought centuries of harsh winters. These events show our climate's capacity for extremes. They remind us of the importance of resilience and preparation. Winter's power is nothing new. It's a force to respect. How does a deep freeze fit into a warming world? Weather is short-term. Climate is the long-term pattern. A cold winter doesn't disprove global warming. In fact, a warming Arctic may make polar vortex disruptions more likely. The warm Arctic cold continents theory suggests a weaker vortex can send more cold south. As the planet warms, weather becomes more volatile, hotter heat waves, deeper freezes. This Arctic blast is part of a bigger climate story. It's a reminder that climate change means more extremes, not just warming. We must adapt and build resilience for an unpredictable future. As we prepare for the cold, we're also preparing for the climate challenges ahead. <laughs>